Hey all, double one eight Seth Shadow here. We're in the month of May right now, which means we are closing in on the end of the BSF season. But before that comes to an end, we do have another product getting released after Faded Clash, where it's the second installment of Token Ramba for D series standard. And we have pre-releases going on this week. In addition, the set will release in the week after, as it normally does. But I wanted to take a quick look at some of the older cards that are available for this set right now. As far as I know, there aren't too many that are going to influence the newer decks that come up. But just taking a look, we do have... <clears throat> it's mostly on the Token Rambo rares, where we have low listings or just no listings at all in some cases... But some of the big ones like Mikazuki Wichika, who is also the most who is also the biggest triple rare in this set. But even saying that, when we take a look at it, right over here, it's only $15 to pick up right now, which for a triple rare, I'd say that's still pretty fair, especially for one this old. Eight listings overall. But overall, the first page is nothing but just token Rambo rares and the SPs that are available, and then you can see that a number of them just don't have that much of them either. You do have the triggers, and then there are the perfect guards as well. Where right now, that perfect guard, Hakusan Yoshimitsu, Hakusan Yoshimitsu, is, let's see, the token Rambo Rare is currently available for just under $60, but a market price of $25, and the SP is available for for 2420 with a market price of 2419 so just about there and otherwise the perfect guards are also available in normal form rare and a promo version as well the promo is a dollar while the rare is just underneath that not too many listings on them though 10 listings on the promo and five listings on the rare so they are short on that side next thing i want to talk about are the the crit and the heal triggers for the Constructed Cup. So, given that the Constructed Cup only rewards the winner with the... It's the full art SP variant of a trigger. If anyone remembers how Set 1 triggers and Festival Collection 2021 tw triggers were, this is the type of trigger that you get. Fully textured, full art, just utterly beautiful. And right now, Light Elemental Pachiri, which is only given to the winner of each Constructed Cup, has a base listing of $195 and three listings overall. The market price of this card is currently $42.50, and the original version from Faded Clash is currently $0.60, 60 cents, with $0.63 cents as the market price, but only 16 listings overall, which for a common is a little bit low. And overall, for the three listings available for the SP version, that's $195 all the way to $200. Now, as for what this card has already sold at, the market price is $42.50, but it's already sold for $30 and $55. Where this will go, honestly, $200 is a bit high, but given that, given that this is a winner-only prize... It's just a matter of how many more get into circulation, because ultimately this is a this is a rarity that we just don't get anymore when it comes to any of Bushi Road's printings. Then you've also got Wood Elemental Leafy, which is given to the top eight players of the Constructed Cup. It also has the same textured foiling like an SP, and has six listings overall, starting at twenty nine fifty one and a market price of twenty six sixty two, which is okay for now. As more get into circulation, we should see prices drop on this one as it's much easier to pick up than the crit trigger. And if you want the original common, 37 cents is the base is the lowest listing and the market price is 42 cents. I will note, when you participate in the constructed cup, you also get a promo pack with one of the elemental triggers from Faded Clash. Those triggers do not have flavor text on them. To illustrate that a bit more, this flavor text here, you don't get them on the promo that you get out of the promo pack. 
So basically, there are three different variations of this card. The common with the flavor text, the promo common without the flavor text, and the SP full art. So just keep that in mind as well. Now going a bit more into Faded Clash, I believe there's been a good amount of news being passed around here, but there is a second printing of Faded Clash coming out, which has caused a lot of prices to start to dip and more listings to hit the market. Varga Dragus, which was above 500 for its base listing on the Secret Fair, now has a Secret Rare as low as 460 and a market price of 481. The regular Triple Rare is 1750 and a market price of 1684, so it's still a little higher. The SR has dropped off to about $39, where the market price is almost 40, and the FFR is still up there at 132.73 for the base and a market price of 125.33. Then you've got Rezael, which the the silver rare of this one is one of the few that's still going up in value, where it's almost $50 now and a market price of 38 seven cents. But all the other listings have been dipping in value. The triple rare is down to 17 from a market price of 18.39, and then you've got the FFR, which this doesn't compare to Varga at all. It's only $57 on a market price of $62.28. The Secret Rare has a base listing of $200 and a market price of $235.89. The DSR slipped a little bit to $269.01 and a market price of $288.19. Taking a look at one of our big cyclers, Divine Sister Biscotti for Cater Sanctuary. This one was selling for $35 pretty consistently. And now we have listings as low as $29 with a market price of $32.50 right now. At this point, it's effectively $30 for its base. The FFR is a pretty solid $100 plus right now. And the Silver Rare is available for $44 ish and beyond. Then we've also got Maigo. We've got Innocent Cry Tomari, which is the boss unit of that deck. It's cheap to pick up at this point. The market price is $0.84 cents and base listing $0.75. Cents. But if you want the special sign parallel, then that is $135. And the market price is only a little bit higher than that at about $138. Obscudeed has been seeing more movement. I was talking about how there were a decrease in listings on the Triple Drive Grade 2. Now the Triple Drive Grade 3 is out of stock at a market price of $209, while the original has 28 listings at $7.49. So I imagine we're just going to start seeing more of these pop back up, maybe around $4 or $5 to start. Or I guess if the market is feeling a little feeling a little more greedy, they'll try to go for $10, but then they've got to compete with the original. The original triple rare of the grade 2 is $2.26 with 31 listings. So again, that's just going to be more competition for the triple drive version. And if you want the high rarities, the SP of the grade 3 has no market price and only 4 listings starting at about 111 The grade 2 is $47.50 market price, $46 base price with 4 listings right now. With EVA coming up, and high anticipation of the new promo, we could see prices begin to spike even further later. Go Ahead Mikani is also from Triple Drive as well, coming out of Minerva Rising, and I wanted to review this price. We're looking at a good amount of listings on both sides, and the card is overall six to eight dollars among the two different copies. And the market price of the original from Minerva Rising is $8.18, while the market price of the Triple Drive version is $5.78. And if you want the FFR, it starts at $50 with a market price of $47.77 right now. Blade Feather Dragon, looking at all of its non-high rarity variants, this card is, despite having five different types of printings, including the promo that you could get out of the new starter decks, this card is still at least a $6 card amongst all of its base listings right now, as Cater Sanctuary is still one of the more popular nations to pick up. And then when it comes to Aspiring Maiden Alana, who is the crit for Stoikia, 
The lowest listings are two and three dollars among the original version and the triple drive version. And then we start looking at four all the way to eight dollars where the eight dollar one is a single listing for the promo variant, which has no foiling whatsoever. One Night Witch Strega, taking a look at where it's at right now. Two listings left on the triple rare starting at $39 and a cent. The FFR is currently at $51 with four listings. And then the LSR is currently $150 and 11 cents. All considering the base prices, which all three are, are above their market price by around five or higher, depending on which rarity it is. If you are still looking for the world origin of Reptilus, Dream Cafe Reptilus from Trick and Trick, this one has gone down in price quite substantially and has a base price of $6 and a market price of $7.41. And it has been selling under $6 for the last few sells. But overall, most listings are around 6 to 7 So ultimately, it's down, has a lot more quantity available. And if you're just looking for world origins... This is not bad. And then we've got Adheld from Festival 2023, which is currently $40 right now for its triple rare and its FFR 6210 base, both of which are significantly higher than their current market prices. You've also got Blitz Assistant Sortian with Wellstrug. With Wellstrug's new support, this card has gone up in value and dropped in listings pretty drastically. Four listings altogether on the double rare at $1 to start, and the FR is currently at nine listings, $6 to begin. Both, But the market price on the double rare is now $2, so let me check that real quick. Oh, this card is actually selling for $3.50 to $4.50, and they're consolidated at about $4.50. So, yeah... This card has gone up in value as a very good resource generator for the deck. Freyhot is also going up in value at a base price of $30 right now for the triple rare and a market price of $25.62. This is also a shoe in for playing Wellstra right now as it gives you your Persona rides and gets you products. It's $30 base, goes up to $35, and there are only six listings with overall eight copies to pick up right now. You've also got Schwarzer Eins, which only has one listing right now. It is mine. At $10 at this point, the market price on the... This is the FR. The market price is $0.98, cents and it has sold for as high as 5 And there's only the one listing right now at with one copy at $10. Otherwise, let me see here. For the most part, it's been selling under a dollar, but the highest it sold was 5 and it was just out of stock for quite some time. So we'll see. We'll have to hope more get on the market and see what happens. Purple Jewel Beast Amethyst is also very low on stock and has been bought out to $30. And it's been bought for $29.89. So basically just got bought for $30. Before that, it was getting bought for $20 as well. And the market price is now $13.80. And this is just the triple rare version of this card. They're consolidated right around 30 amongst all three listings that are available, which are 17 copies altogether. Then you've got Wisdom of the Beginning that Cleared the World, which has gone up in value for its rare. This one is now selling for almost $4 pretty consistently and has listings just around that point as well. Then we've got the foil versions of all the promos from Faded Clash, including Saragon. Where right now the lowest listing on Saragon's foil is $27.79, which is not too far away from the $22.95 for the regular one. So I'm curious how many are actually there. Six copies available for $26.80 right now. The last sale was $39, but we did have $28 sales. So if you do want this foil, they're not too far away from the regular version. So might not be a bad idea, but... Do remember that this card is likely to get a limitation with Luard at some point. Abyss Temptation has a low amount of listings on its common, which is why I wanted to bring this up. This is one of the first critical triggers we got for standard format right now, and there are only two listings available from $0.98. Cents. 
Okay, looks like things changed here. 424 is now the base listing because that 98 cent listing has a $5 shipping tag and only one copy. It's been selling for $2 plus and its market price is currently $1.21. Well, anticipation of Zorga is definitely helping this card. And our last card for today is the SP version of Recusal Hate Dragon, which is a Dark State's perfect guard from set one. It's low on listings right now, four altogether, and the lowest listing is 2248, and it's been selling, it hasn't sold since the end of April, and it sells very sparsely around 20. It's been low on listings before, and even though it gets bought out at some points, it's very rare for this card to actually sell any higher than 25. But as we as we continue to get away from any what I would say are meaningful high rarity perfect guards, because we still only have FRs for the Faded Clash ones, we don't even get silver rares, which would be pretty cool to see. But Recusal Hate is still effectively the high rarity when it comes to all Dark State's perfect guards, as it's an SP and there are no FFRs yet of any perfect guards that we have, just FRs. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys later.